Hey guys, this is Akinar, and I wanted to share with you a little something that, I, uh, that I've been doing here recently, a little project that I've been working on. Um, prior to now, I've always gone down and, uh, and I've bought my own decks of cards. Usually, you can get some cheap ones at the dollar store, but they're not very good, very good quality. Uh, bicycle decks are your best, but they tend to be a little expensive. Well, I finally found a good combination between the two, and, and that is to make your own cards. Um, so, with your indulgence, I'm going to show you a quick, pro a quick way to make your own cards in just in a matter of seconds. Okay, so now that we got the camera set up, let me show you a little bit of what you're going to need. Uh, you're going to want a, a ruler, obviously. You won't be doing much measuring. Uh, well, you can if you want, but uh, having a nice, solid, straight edge is definitely going to be handy. You're going to want yourself an X-Acto knife to do the cutting with. A pair of scissors can work, but the X-Acto knife is, uh, is a little more accurate. Uh, you're going to want to get yourself some cardstock. This stuff can be gotten at your most of your uh, uh, art stores. It's a little bit thick in regular paper. It's great for making cards and for making uh, uh, boxes with. Um, and then, of course, you're going to want your ink pens, black and your red for the faces, and then either red or blue. And in my case, I'll go blue for the backs. Um, so what you're going to do is you first going to start by taking a, an old box. You lay it down and sort of trace around it, and you give you something to cut. Uh, I'll show you what I use. This is one that I made before that uh, that I use that I just kind of laid down and, and 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 I'm able to trace it out and, and whatnot. And this is the one that I'm going to be using today. Uh, as you can see, this is you know been cut out already. It takes a little bit of time and effort, but uh, but you can manage to do that. Um, and then you know to print it, you just take your ink. Your blue ink mainly, uh, there's a little bit of red on there, and, and you just really diligently work with it. And, and if you're really quick about it, in a matter of seconds, you could end up something with, like this. Uh, now this is, a, a, you know, it's been printed, it's still, you know, uh, laid out, it's not in a box format as of yet. So your next step, obviously, is you're going to have to convert this into a box. It takes a little bit of work, you just come and you just fold it up carefully. Um, you take a little bit of glue stick or, uh, or, or Elmer's glue and you glue it down and you have yourself a nice box. Uh, uh, now this is still only half the project because you still have to get the cards. So in order to get the cards, what you got to do is next is you sit there and you take more cards off and you cut out 52 length cards. Um, you know, what you want is you, know, you want 52 blank cards, you know it's blank both sides, you don't want them in, with any markings on it. Uh, you just get yourself 52 blank cards and you start off with one card. You start off with one card, let's say like the Eight of Diamonds for an example. You just take your red pen and you mark that carefully and you're real careful. No, I mean you're real, you, you know what I mean, but you, you get this marked out, you get it looking really professional. Most people would want to do the back side of the card. I prefer to hold off on doing the back side of that. What I do is I put it on the top of all my other blank cards and then I concentrate on getting just the, the back of the very back of the deck done. So now I've got the blue on the back of the deck, I've got the, I've got the eight on the front, I've got the blue on the back, I put them in, in you know, all the blank cards in, in, in between and then I start going through one card at a time and eventually before you know what happened, you've got a full deck of cards. Now this is how a quick easy way to, to do the deck and you got yourself a new deck that you can use for playing poker for uh, doing magic tricks and the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, I'm glad that uh, I was able to show you how to do this and I hope you guys can, you can do one of your own.